Hi everyone, welcome back to A Feast for Odin, the Norwegians. We are just about to start round three, in fact we've kind of started it. It's harvest time. We now get things with one and two on them from the harvest sheet, so it's our original... What is it? The... the it's, it's these three, isn't it? The chives, the flax, the peas, but now we also get... No, the chives are already in there. Uh, now we also get the wheat as well. I feel like I just said wheat. I shouldn't have. And the same for Marty as well. This is a good place for this, dividing us up. I won't explore an island just so that there's space for everything. Okay. And, and I, I always explore islands. Okay, turn exploration boards and place silver. Since one was taken, it's not going to end up with any uh, silver on it, and it's not going to get flipped, actually. Just the three remaining are going to get two new coins on them. Draw a new weapon. Let's see, I get a sword. Now that's used for pillaging actions rather than hunting ones. Marty also gets a sword. And action time. So Marty's first. I know exactly what he is doing. He is spending two workers straight away to get three things from a mountain strip. It's tempting to get four things, but it's, it's four Vikings to get four things. He doesn't want to do that. He wants the ore. And having a load of stone isn't a bad thing either. He also gets two... Equipment, which is another sword, and a spear. So he's got two spears, two swords now. Try and keep track of all of this. And all of these tiles just died around everywhere. Okay. Okay, I think I am going to go big. I would like some animals. I'm going to go animal crazy. I'm going to go for this action, so I get to play a card. I'm actually going to discard my equipment supplier. And grab four points instead. And I need to pay three coins. That's no problem. I've got quite a lot of silver. And I need to play the wheat as well, which is a bit of a shame. But I can have any two animals. I think I'm going to go for horses. They are worth the most points. And if I have having two, I'll hopefully get some more. Okay, that is me. I played the card. I've done all of that. It's Marty's turn. He's actually got quite a bit of stuff now. Marty's actually going to go for this space over here. So it's paying an ore. Because he's exchanging an ore, he gets to pay a coin to get a Viking back. And he also gets an occupation card because it's in the third row. Cowherd, pay a wheat and two coins to get a cow. He was thinking of using the wheat in his feast. I don't think he's going to go for the cowherd. Although, you know, it's a huge piece. If you can upgrade it, it's basically the, it's, it's the coat. Basically, if you upgrade it from cow to coat. So now Marty gets to choose anything that's got the tongs symbol on it. So anything from here and anything from here. So I think, of course, he's going to go for one of the bigger ones from up here. Can he get something that will nicely fit in his exploration board? I think this axe, it's going to need coins to fill in these single gaps, which isn't brilliant, but I think that's the only thing that will really fit there. He's going to grab that. Try and maximise the income of the Isle of Sky as quickly as he can. Okay, so he had the card. That's all fine. Over to me. So I've got some animals. I think I'm going to get my wheat back. I'm going to... Now let's come over here. I'm going to get myself two coins. And I get a flax and a mead. Which is fine. But then, if I've got a horse, I get myself a wheat. Which is a lot of orange stuff, all nice and ready. I think Marty's going to work towards getting some long ships. So he's going to need... Yeah, he's going to need some more wood. But he's just like... Yeah, ideally he'd like four things. But I think he's just going to go for... One thing and an upgrade. Yeah, he's going to grab the wood from there. Is he? No, he's, he'll grab the wood from here. And he can upgrade something. He'll upgrade... Yeah, he'll upgrade the chives. So they now get turned into uh, some nice wool. I think I'm going to grab two things. Yeah, I'm going to get some wood. Marty, still got quite a few workers left. Still got four. 
His plan was to get a long shot, wasn't it? So that's going to take three of them, actually. So we zoom all the way up here. And you can either spend two stone to get yourself a great big longhouse, or two wood, which is what he's going to do, to get himself... A long ship, which is worth eight points and opens up all sorts of avenues. I don't know if he'll get to do them right now. Maybe. Uh, and he gets an occupation, a sheep shearer, with at least three, four, or six sheep, including uh, pregnant sheep, uh, get one, two, or three wool immediately when you do that card. So yeah, I, think, I feel like these are discards for Marty, if he ever does get a chance to play some cards. And you can, you know, this action here, three workers play up to four cards. So that could be a good option if you want to just ch trade them all in for points, basically. Next up, I think I'm worried about how badly I'm doing on my player board, and I haven't got anything to put on it still. Uh, a load of upgrades would be nice, but I think, over to me, I think I'm going to turn one of my flax into a great big bolt of cloth. Marty, with his final action, is coming over to... Oh, he needs a gnar rather than a longboat for theft. That was going to be his plan. He doesn't need to do something in this column, though. Just seems like while well, you've got the stuff, you might as well. He hasn't got ore to do that anymore. What if you went raiding? Yeah, you can put ore on your longboats as well to make them uh, more effective at raiding. He's got some stone as well. So raiding, you want the highest number possible because everything has a value on it. You see the blue tiles and uh, these tiles here, most of those, I think all of those, have uh, a raiding value. So you want the highest number possible and it can be boosted with swords, all that's on your ships, and stone. So let's try and get to eight for Marty. Two, no, we won't stick with that. Again, three rolls you get. One, oh, come on. Two, okay then. Well, he needs at least a six to get anything. And that's all he can really spend. Yeah, so does he want to spend all of this just to get this little runestone? Or will he just, I think he'll come back unsuccessful, but get himself a stone and a sword. So he'll hopefully do it much more effectively next time. As for me, I am unfortunately killing a pig. Uh, because I would like the great big strip of meat and also you get these uh, bones and things as well, which I, yeah, probably not going to get on this round, am I? Okay then, so determined start player, that's me, I went last. Income, okay, let's, let's work out everybody's tiles because Marty's definitely got some stuff to put down. Let's see if he needs to be able to... He's not ended up with a, a really nice small tile, so he can't actually put this down and get the extra income, which was the whole point of getting this. Oh no, he, he can, he can. He's got the runestone. There we go, that's probably his plan. The runestone can slip in there, and then he can put, swap this for two ones, put a coin there, coin there. He's only got one spare coin, so it, I doubt that he's going to be able to... Oh, he could uh, actually, yeah, he could use this coin to be able to get himself a wool as income, which seems like a good idea. And this he might as well save, because it's not going to get him anything immediately by placing it anywhere. Although, if he puts, if he gave up on the mead income, oh, he can't place these next to each other, though, because it's two greens. So, yeah, ignore that idea. No, he's not going to do anything else right now, anyway. As for me... I haven't explored anywhere, unfortunately. I've only really got greens. So I could spend a load of money. That's okay. I could still have to spend three. Yeah, I'm going to spend three. It covers it up a bit. And I would like ore as a bonus. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm getting much done. Okay. I'm lost without my exploration. So, income is four for me still. I could afford a, a nice boat now, though. Marty's is for six. 
animal breeding. Now, this is where I do get something. I get another pig and I get a pregnant horse. Feast, that's already sorted out. I already set aside the pieces to be able to do that. Then for bonuses, I want my bow and snare. And then it's peas. Oh, did I have one more coin? I did have one more coin. Yeah, I, I, I would have spent it if I'd spotted this. I'm allowing myself this take back uh, so that I could have this, this wood here. Of course I would do that. So bonus, I get an ore, a wood, and a mead, and peas. And for Marty, he's getting fish, wool, and a runestone. Update and add new mountain strips. So this comes off, and this one's going to be discarded. And a fresh mountain strip comes out. This is actually the new long one with two ore at the end rather than just two silver. Okay, I've retrieved the Vikings. It's time for a new Viking for round four. And let's go. Harvest. There's no harvest this round, so I get to take two things from a mountain strip. So what would I like? I could hoover up all of the wood. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a great idea. Marty would be able to get an ore. Well, hey, I don't mind. Uh, okay, no, no more harvest for anyone. Turn exploration boards and place silver. So C is getting flipped this round. Two silver on the others. This silver goes away because we can no longer go to the outer Hebrides. Now we have cork, which uh, you can only explore. You can see up in the corner there with a long ship. And you could get yourself as a reward straight away for covering this up. You can get yourself a shed, which is good if you've got loads of like uh, wood and stone and stuff. Yeah, quite nice there. Get yourself a whaling boat as income as well, uh, but no actual uh, monetary income which you'll find in the islands as they go on. Because, you know, later it is. Hopefully you will have sorted out your money income. Okay, then. Draw a new weapon. I get my fourth bow and arrow. Marty gets his fourth sword. And it's action time. And I'm first. Okay, I've got all this stuff. I'm going to go back to hunting game up here. And actually, I would quite like the pelt that that would get me. So let's get my dice rolling started. Five, I'm not happy with. Four, I'm not really happy with. That would be all of my bows and arrows. But it could be worse if I roll again. Do I risk it? I can't do it again this round if I fail. I'm going to just do all of my bows and arrows. Pay all four of them and watch it be like a one next. That would have been a six. Okay. So... I get myself that pelt and some meat. Marty wants some more and wouldn't mind some more equipment, so he's going to grab three things. Oh, this is making the next three things really good. Maybe he'll do that next, though. Uh, yeah, he's going to grab that. He's got loads of stone. But he might use it for all of this pillaging. Uh, he's done that, and he gets himself two equipment, and it's going to be a spear and a snare. He would prefer swords, but hey, you get what you're given. Back to me. That's very tempting now. Two ore and four money. It would be three of my workers. I would get to upgrade two things, though, as well. No, I think I've got a plan. I'm going to spend two workers here, and the pelt that I just got, and the cloth. And they turn into two coins and a beautiful jacket like Marty did earlier. There we go. Oh, that's not a jacket, is it? There we go. I'm also going to buy a, a knar, a medium-sized boat, which you can do at any time. By basically, I've, I've turned my five silver points into five boat points. And they will be used for, you know, you can do theft with them, uh, but you can also do an action that I would like to do. I would work towards this round, I think. Marty, what's his plan? He's got ore now to do something with, but I think he's going to go pillaging. So for pillaging, it's the same as raiding. You don't, uh, but you can use ore if you've chosen to put ore on your ships or, you know, is a permanent plus one boost to your die roll. But you roll the d12 instead, so you can potentially get much better stuff. Okay, so Marty's got nine. Okay, that's quite close, isn't it? I don't think he's going to risk getting any higher. So he can get stuff from the board up here. So he can get, you know, that's 11. Uh, the huge one is 15. 
The new one's a bit smaller. That's 13, but that would go... Oh, a little bit too big for there, unfortunately. Also, all of these, uh, not all of them, there's a, there's a couple that haven't, uh, the scales haven't, uh, the scales can't be pillaged. The, the crown, for example, is worth two extra points. It's the only thing, I think. Could he afford that? He's got four swords, hasn't he? So he'd get 13 and he could pay the stone. Yeah, he could afford anything at the moment. He's going to go for this one. He's going to pay all of the swords. So that's 13, and that'll do very nicely, I think. Okay, back over to me. I want to turn my flax into a cloth. There we go, nice and easy. Marty. While it's there, he's going to go raiding. So we've seen this before. He's got no swords now, but... And he's using the <laughs> orange die, which I have dropped. But yeah, he's got four. He's gonna try again. Come on, let's let's get eight. Eight. That is. I'm I'm carrying that. It landed wonky, but yeah, he can have it. So he could get a treasure chest right away for eight, or does he want to pay some stone to get some better things? Yeah, he's gonna pay two stone, so he's got ten, and grab this necklace. I think I'm going to lay a snare since I have snares about, uh, and I I've got three. Yeah, I've got three snares and loads of wood, so surely we can get this done. Now, since you've rolled an eight for Marty, do a one for me. There, oh, brilliant. I'll use a snare then, and I'll get myself that big pelt and my snare back. Marty, I think since I've kind of slept on it, Marty's going to go over here. It's going to cost three of his workers, unfortunately. Orient Shipper, just an immediate thing. Upgrade something three steps, so from orange right up to blue. And he's going to grab three things. He's going to grab this. That's four four silver and two ore. <laughs> that mountain strip already, as, as quickly as he entered the game, it is gone. And maybe Marty just wants to get down here. He hasn't got enough workers right now. Maybe he just wants to get down here and play all of those cards. I think I would like some upgrades. I think I'm going to go for... Yeah, I want more than one, so I'm going to have to have three. So I want this upgraded into a green. That becomes those bones. Uh, I will upgrade this into a blue and then this into a green. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get some good stuff out. Although, yeah, ideally I would have explored. I still can. Yeah, maybe I should. Marty, got two people left. He is going to go exploring again. Oh, which creates problems camera wise I believe a bit late in the day but he's exploring Limerick and this is where I'm going to have to move the action board off screen and our stuff is in danger of merging together isn't it <laughs> but yeah this, this is why Marty took these particular pieces oh, look how beautifully all this fits uh, this one actually wasn't that great an idea it's too big haven't counted properly. He could have had something else. Yeah, I'm going to give Marty his swords back because actually all he needed was this. And he rolled more than that. So this is going to be quite a few nice things for Marty. And he's not even finished yet. Four more income. And hopefully some good stuff... Yeah, if he can get that upgraded into a green. Although he hasn't he hasn't been thinking about feeding people at all. He's only got one person left. He's got loads of gold, though. He's not worried. He's fine. He's fine. Silver, not gold. Okay, my turn. I've got no cards to play, so it doesn't really benefit me having two people out there. Okay, let's do my thing now. So this space here, I love this space, especially with my normal. I love raiding and pillaging, exploring loads, kind of what Marty's doing, but I also love this space. Uh, so you pay two gold here, you have two silver here, you have to have a knar, but you can upgrade any number of different green tiles, and that's why I've ended up with so many here, all get upgraded. Not too shabby, because these can all go right next to each other now. Marty's final action, he hasn't done anything with ore, so he's going to go over here. Oh. Yeah, that means he can't get the worker back though. But he's, he's got three ore, he might as well do it. 
so he is going to pay the ore and he gets something off this board. I think, oh, what, what can we get that would fit? Would that fit quite nicely there? I think that would be all right. Or surely that is perfect. Yeah, he's going to have that helmet. Okay, so that's Marty done. My final action, I've actually just realized I'm going to go over here. Pay just a single coin and a wood. Oh, I can't do that, actually. I, I did want to explore cork, but you need a, a longboat for that. Let's, let's keep hold of the wood and get the coin back. I'm going to go up here. Let's do some theft. I've only got one sword for theft, though. Yeah, theft's not a great action. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. Wood and a coin. Because I get myself a whaling boat. Which is still, you know, that's three points. I'd maybe do some whaling with it. I've got an oar. I could put that on there. Uh, but also I get to explore something. I'm just going to... We're never going to see the other side. Well, actually, I'll show it you. It would have been Waterford, and it would have got more Nars, that great big blue piece, a longhouse. <sighs> yeah, but I, I feel like I, I need to explore something. I can at least get some income with this. So late in the day to be getting this place. Uh, so... Oh no, that action space is the equivalent of this one, so I could only take one that needed one worker like what Marty had. So, okay, reversing all of this. We could try going on an elk hunt. Just thinking, what can I get the most out of over here? Marty didn't get any food, did he? Oh, he's just using gold. He's using uh, money. <laughs> Don't panic. He's going to use money. Or actually, yeah, I could give up another pig and get myself the bones and the big meat. Yes, okay. That's me done. So Marty has got no choice but to pay a load of silver on his feast. And let's work out where I'm going to... I suppose I'm just going to put the pieces over on this great big board. So I know I'm not allowed to do that just yet, but I'm going to fill in these spaces. So that's going to have to be a goal. It could be an aura, of course. I could just do that. Let's see, over here. I can do this. Fill in with the gold. I could do this. Runestone there. Not loads of extra income, is it? I'm getting a runestone now and a, and a stone. Yeah, not filling up as much as I'd hoped, to be honest. That's, that's some minus one spaces and stuff done, though. Yeah. It's going to be a fair bit of income, I think. Marty, with all of his riches, going to fill in there. Does he want the barrel as well? The barrel can go in other places, can't it? Put his treasure chest. Have to play a... Yeah, he'll go for the barrel. Why not? He's got so much money. And about to have a load coming in as well. And he'll use an ore there. Yeah, I think that's a decent configuration. That's a load of stuff coming in. Still, hardly anything on his main board. But he only needs to cover up these spaces. It's just that it gets a bit murky because you can't cover up the numbers unless you covered up all the lower numbers. We'll see there. Okay, so determined start player. Oh dear, who was it was me last, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> think back all that time ago. Income for me is now eight, which is all right. Marty gets four, eight, ten. Animal breeding, none for Marty. I get a new pig and my uh, pregnant horse gives birth to a new one. Feast, that's sorted out for me. And Marty is just uh, paying through the nose for it because he didn't bother getting any food. Bonus, so I need my... Bow and arrow, and then a snare, don't I? So then it's peas. One of each stone, wood and ore. A rune stone and a mead. Okay. Marty, such better stuff. I need to sort this out as well for, if I want uh, all the points. And here is all of Marty's income. Yes, it's bonuses rather than his income. Did that just flip? Yeah, he's supposed to have a flax. Okay, update and add new mountain strips. We lose the stone off of those. And then a fresh one comes out. And I'll fill that up. Okay, here's what we get for harvest. I've already given Marty his. We now get the three, which is a cabbage or a cauliflower or something. I don't know. 
Nothing to flip. Uh, oh no, D flips. Of course it does. I'm not in the last round just yet. So all of that silver is gone and we can now go to Waterford. We can get a boat. We've only got one opportunity. Though. There's no bonus round in the very final round. So you want to get this, cover it up straight away. A lot of points if you can cover up all those negatives, though. And Cork gets uh, plus two. Because Marty, at the moment, these, these are only worth ten. These aren't great ones. You know, that is, that is points. Okay. Next up, draw a new weapon. For me, that's going to be a sword. Marty also sword. Then it's action time. And I'm the first player. Okay, so... We could, we could think about... Okay, so Mead's definitely going in the feast. Maybe I'll put the... The wheat in. I'm going to say corn. <laughs> I know it's got, not corn, but I cannot find another word. Uh, we could do that. We could even do... And then we could do, you know, the... Oh, what colours need to be separate, don't they? Uh... We can't feed them all. We could feed them a coin and then they even do meat again. But actually peas are peas are surely less useful. Okay. So it's kind of the big factor. Am I going to explore somewhere? Because I can. But actually, both of the things to explore now, you need a better boat. So I can, yeah. If I use all of my coins to get the boat and then go exploring. But then that's three Vikings as well. I want it though. I think we can do well. Okay, I'm leaving exploring until the last minute. Even though I said I wasn't going to explore. But here we go. I am going to draw an occupation card. I draw one for ages. Linen Weaver. Uh, and that is trade two flax and uh, money for two linen. So I've got one flax. I could get another one from here. And then get that out, maybe? Who knows? Marty knows. And he's going to do something. Yeah, he probably would have gone and got another island. Because these are full, aren't they? Marty is going to go over here and play up to four cards. What does he get? Trapper. If you succeed in laying a snare, get a money that would have been great for me he's going to do oriental shipper upgrade something three times he's going to do that with the wheat here so it turns into that lovely silk so that's probably going to go all nicely there he's got the rune stone that fits in there so that's you know done in terms of all the negative points gone away from it Actually, he needs, he could put the ore there maybe, or just a coin, because it's spending a point to get two points. Yeah, if he wants to explore that island, he's going to have to go, how have I gone here? How haven't I ended up with an island? I didn't pick it. I think I'm getting Waterford, so my linen weaver card needs to go somewhere else. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> I just realised, why haven't got, I got the island if I've gone here? Okay, Marty's gone there, so he's going to play... So he upgraded that, so he played that for its thing. It's not worth any points, though. So it doesn't really matter. So he can play three more cards. I think he could have turned the corn and two coins into a cow. No, he's not going to do that. He's just going to play these three cards. Maybe he'll play that one still. He can play these three cards just for points. So there's only one four-point left, so the others become three points. But still, that's ten points, and he's upgraded that all the way to the top. Not bad. My turn. I'm actually... Oh, Marty shouldn't have slept on this. Oh dear, no, he shouldn't have. I'm going to get in. Now I've got a longboat. I'm going to do some pillaging. I haven't got great deals of ore and stuff. Maybe I should put the ore on the boat. So I'll get the plus one. Yeah, you can't remove it from there. That's, that's the, the thing, the, the downside of it. That's, it's locked away. So I, I have two swords and one stone, so I could hopefully get something. So I've got eight. Eight there. It could be worse, couldn't it? Yeah, so I've got nine with my boat, ten, eleven with my swords. 
and I'll get myself this treasure chest, I think. Be quite nice, you know, there. Already that's nice. I'm I'm enjoying that being there. So basically, yeah, I, I need to surround the bonuses no matter what. Because I don't get another chance to get the bonuses. So maybe I should have gotten this instead. Yeah, keep keep one of the swords. Yeah, we'll worry about the negative points in the next round. Okay, so I did that. Marty then, before it gets uh, covered up, will go raiding. And no, a one's not going to cut it. Go Oggy raiding. Stealing apples. What a nice name for stealing apples. One, three, one. So he either sticks and pays how many, how many swords has he got? He's got loads of swords. Two, three, four, five swords, and he's got some stone. So he can pay five swords. If this is the only time he's going to do this. Well, he could always try and do the theft at the end. And keep the swords for that. So yeah, he's going to fail. He's going to choose to fail. So he'll get a, so a stone and a sword. And maybe he'll try theft at the end of the round. That's a bit of a shame for him. Okay, for me... I've got loads of snares. Let's try laying a snare. So that's going to be two Vikings. And, yeah, orange. So I want the ones that are surely never going to come out now. So six. No way we can do better than that. One. Perfect. I pay the snare, but I get a snare back. And I get this pelt. Actually, that can go there. Brilliant. And I can, I can adjust those. That's not set in stone yet. If we could get one of these pieces as well. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I should be thinking about that. I've got rid of my ore, though. I could buy one. I've paid all of my silver. Marty can buy some stuff. Marty, he's going to send three people and get an occupation card, which is going to be farmer. Uh, trade in a cow for a big necklace. And he's going to take a piece. He's just going to take the biggest piece, I think. This uh, this 13 piece. Probably won't end up going on an island, but he's, gonna, he's thinking for his uh, points later on. And he paid the ore for that. So he's also going to pay a coin to get one of his Vikings back. I think while I've got plenty of wood to go around, I will go hunting game. Yeah, so that's going to be... This again, I've only got one bow and arrow, but I've got loads of wood. So eight, no way. Seven, no way. Seven again. Oh, surely we've got to admit defeat there. Yeah, I'll get myself a wood. And a bow and arrow. I could try for something else. Marty's just going to go for a little action here and grab a silver and another rune stone. For a stone. I think I am going to give up one of my horses over here. Which, you know, six points might not be a great thing to do. And I'm going to... I get the big meat strip and... Leather. Which is basically upgrading it and getting the bonus uh, meat strip. Yeah, that should be meat. And... Yeah, that's just one worker, which is good. Marty's got loads of workers left. He's going to turn his flax into cloth. I think I want three upgrades. I'm going to upgrade this to a blue, this to a blue, and this to a green. Yeah. So now, could we arrange things a bit better here? I'm probably going to have to end up spending money. Marty's still got three workers left. He's going to come to the mountains, grab a wood and an upgrade. He's going to upgrade this into a green. Oh, and I'm finished, so... He's going to... We could try catching some fish. Yeah, that could be good for next round. He'll try that then, so... One is a five, a five, and a five. Okay, so Marty's got three... I can't pay any resources. Three, four, five. Yeah, he's going to pay two snares and his three... Uh, spears and he gets himself two fish and a barrel and then he's still got someone left oh yeah he wanted theft didn't he yeah theft unfortunately he's used his spears but he's got loads of swords and he's got a bow and arrow which he can use here 
Uh, he's got a... Oh, he hasn't got a knaw. So I think he's going to spend... He's got so much money, he can use his anytime action to buy one. And then... Uh, so you want high as possible. So four, we're kind of halfway. We can do better than that. Eight, there we go, perfect. So eight, nine, 10, 11. He could get 11 for the great big chest. Actually, he'll go 10 and he'll get this hammer from here. Yeah, he's going to end up filling up his... Minus ones on his main board with things like that. Okay, so that's it. So start player Marty is going to be the start player for the final round. Income, that's going to be seven, eight for me. Marty gets four, eight, ten, doesn't he? Animal breeding, I get another pig. And my horse is pregnant. And then feast is sorted. Okay, it's going to be bonus time. Oh, I haven't... Uh, yeah, Marty's not using his stuff for income, so he wouldn't have placed it down anyway. I haven't ended up with anything. I've, I've put it all on here, haven't I? That's why. I'd like to increase my income over here. But yeah, that's, that's what I need to do. So I'm going to have to split up all these coins because I'm going to have to spend quite a few of them, I think. Because so we need one there. We need two there. And one each there, if I want all of the freebies. Yep, that's all we need to do. No point doing anything over here. So yes, my bonuses are a lot better. Marty's already got <laughs> a lot of bonuses. I don't think... Maybe, maybe he would put this here to get himself ore as a bonus. And then he'll leave everything else off. So Marty's bonus is ore... Wolfish runestone, flax, wood, barrel, meat, tools, ore. For me, it's my bow and snare and peas. My good old peas that I've been getting all game. Yep, that's those there. And then ore, wood, stone, mead, runestone. There we go. And from the new one, I get the great big I don't know, carpet. Lucky carpet. A great big long house, which, where do we put this? <laughs> uh, actually, these are going to go... I'm not going to have space there. Oh, dear. Let's cover up the boat spaces unless I get one. <laughs> so I can put food here, which is the uh, the big drawer of this. And another knar is mine for the taking. Maybe I'll do some emigration and try and get some points. Marty was thinking of doing some more exploring, but he won't get the bonuses from that. So it's, it is worth 30 points, though, if you can get rid of all of the minus spaces. So maybe he still wants to do it. Okay, that's finally some good bonusing, I think, from me. Now, and this could be worth 17 points. It's got, it was worth two points, basically, at the moment. It's got 15 negative spaces on it. But if I can get some good food, that can be really nice. Okay, mountain strips. We remove the leftmost thing. These both just have the money left, so they are gone. And we get this new one that I'll fill up and I'll remove the Vikings and get a new Viking and we'll start the sixth and final round. Okay, so harvest. There's no harvest, which means I get to take two things from a mountain strip. I'm not going to take them from there because that would give Marty access to the great stuff at the end. It's just more wood for me, unfortunately. Uh, turn exploration boards. We don't do that anymore in the final round. Uh, draw a new weapon. That's going to be a spear for me and a snare for Marty. And it's action time, and Marty's first, and you can bet that he is going to do pillaging before I get there in front of him again. So, he's not going to put the ore on his ship. He's going to use it. So three, no, he'll roll again. Eight. That's tempting to stick. Yeah, he's going to go nine, ten, eleven. And grab himself this great big treasure chest. I uh, don't think he's going to explore any further. He's going to start, let's, let's try and place some of this stuff on his board. Let's see how I can jigsaw this together. Okay, I've done a bit of organisation of mine as well. Marty's still got loads of spaces to cover up, as have I. Yeah, it wouldn't be a good idea for me to explore this, uh, this round, I don't think. But yeah, this can go over here. I've, I've, I'm using some of my pigs. I'm keeping two, so they'll still get another one. Although it's one point, is that worth doing? <laughs> 
probably worth just putting on here to cover up you know, three more negative points. Actually, we could just do... These spaces need to be left open. The, the bonuses don't, because we're not getting any bonuses. And these could potentially be used for something. Doubtful, but maybe. Actually, red can't go next to... Oh, red can't go next to red, though, can it? So yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not as clever as I thought. We could. Oh, if we upgrade it, though. But if we upgrade, they'd be better on here. Yeah. Let's see, we've still got time to think about this. Because that's okay in terms of the colours. Okay. I haven't done any actions yet, have I? So what would I like to do? I think... Jump over... Here with my ore and grab some kind of big piece like, say, this. That's going to cover up a lot. Yeah, I like that. Marty. He's going to keep raiding. Two. No, that's not good enough. We can do better than that. One. Come on. Two. Oh, okay. So, yeah, three, four, five, six. If Marty's going to spend all of his stuff... Yeah, why not? He'll do it to get himself that runestone. As for me, I've got all of these snares. Let's try laying a snare. I'm going to need two Vikings, though. Well, now we want the low numbers. Eight. One. There we go. And I get a snare back, so effectively that's free. And I get that pelt. Then where are we? Marty, he could get another Knar and go plundering, but that is four Vikings to do that. Marty's going to come over here and pay three for any animal. He's going to get himself a cow. And it also comes with a wheat. We've got so much <laughs> wood here that's not being used for anything. But I, I really want to emigrate, but emigration costs money. It would cost six, and I've only got three. What if... Okay, let's do, let's do things that aren't going to cost as many workers then, I suppose. I'm going to go up and get a shed right at the top here. Reach right up. So the normal sheds are just this. I've earned two points, because it's worth eight and it's minus six. Uh, I'm doing this basically because I've got so much wood and stone just doing nothing. Maybe I'll use the stone. For the moment, that's that's seven points right there. It'd be nice if I could get myself that pelt, which I could do by hunting, couldn't I? Uh, Marty, let's... <laughs> we're kind of encroaching on each other's here. Marty, however, has got enough money for this. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna use it to emigrate. He's coming over here, and this is kind of why you got a cow to do this free upgrade here. Yeah, he's gonna do it. He has to play a card. He's gonna do farmer. So he can use his cow and gets, you know, a smaller piece, but doesn't have to use the upgrade action to do it. And he's got three points for playing the card. Now he gets to do a new mini emigration by giving up his uh, whaling vote. So that's one less person to feed, and that's seven points. And then he's going to do a normal emigration. So you pay the number of coins of the round that we're in. So that's going to be six and he has to choose which boat to give up. Now, the theft that he might still get a chance to do needs the Knarr, as well as upgrading a load of green. So I think he's going to use his longboat. So that turns into 21 points. Knarr is just 18 rather than uh, 21. But that is the difference in the ships anyway. So that's three spaces. So listen, there's still an emigration space here that's uh, just two Vikings. Marty would need a, a bit more gold to do that. He's got three Vikings left. As for me, I've got loads left. I've hardly used any. I want to do some hunting game, don't I? All the way over there. And let's give it a go. A one. Yep, I'm sticking with that. So I need to pay a bow and arrow, which is fine. I've got loads of weapons. And I get myself that 
pelt and some meat. And yeah, I'll just stick that straight on the hunting lodge. Although anywhere that it goes, it's it's saving me three points because it's uh, three squares long. Marty. He's only got a bow and arrow and a snare in terms of going hunting, so I don't think he's going to do that. Now he's got a lot of ore. Actually, oh, he's just missing one stone for doing that. Ore can be placed on the thing as well and save you some points. Let's look at his uh, food situation. I think he's doing quite well for that. I think he's going to turn a flax into a cloth again. I'm going to come over and get something off the mountains, a stone for there, and an upgrade, turn that into a green. I think Marty's just going to go here while it's still available, since he's got his ore. I haven't got an ore, though. But he gets to play this card for putting two people down. Uh, he hasn't got any longships anymore, but he just wants the two points. And he's going to pay an ore. And I think... Maybe this piece would be the best for covering up a load of points. Yeah, I think he's he's got quite... He's covered up quite a bit there. I've still got plenty of people left, but that's because I've taken very small actions. He was going to do theft, wasn't he? Which I think that's better. I think that covers up more space because he needs you know wonky pieces to fill in these gaps since he's not allowed to cover up the numbers because he hasn't done income properly. Why is this one over here? Oh, he's got another piece. I don't know that it can actually go anywhere. Now that I've kind of put everything else around. Oh dear. Never mind, eh? Uh, so, I've got some actions I can take. What would I like to do? I think I would like some upgrades. Three upgrades, please. I think I'm going to upgrade my pigs. And my unpregnant horse. And then I've got the gold to you know, any number of different greens into blues, paying two. Just so it's easier to lay them down. These pieces might be too big. But I can cover up the numbers because I've done all of this groundwork. And then finally, I could... Yeah, I'll just do theft. Yeah, I've mostly got snares though. So, yeah. If only there was a card that made snares worth points. Let's see what I get. As long as I get, you know, I've got four. Let's see, how many things have I got that I can use? Five, six, seven, eight. Would you get me a treasure chest? Yep. Let's just turn all of that stuff in, and I'm happy with that. So that's all of the actions now. So let's work out where we can put all of this stuff. The treasure chest can nicely go there. We just want to cover up minus ones as much as possible here. But yeah, I can do it a little bit more easily. As long as I cover up kind of the spaces around these gaps. So that's a green. So ideally, you'd like that going there so that you could uh, cover up this other stuff. But I don't think it's going to work out like that. So I can't go there because it's green on green. That's too big to fit there. So to do this, I am going to get a load of coins, which will help. So I wouldn't be allowed to... I've only got one coin, so if I put this here, that, let, that, that allows me to cover up that number that I have covered up. Yeah, and we'll leave it there for income, and then we'll try and place some more stuff. Marty's not getting any more income. So income is going to be 9, 10 for me, and the same for Marty. Animal breeding, I get myself another horse. Then, which I could, you know, just use for the feast if I wanted to. Then feast is already handled. We'll just leave those there. So now am I using my income to cover up more things? Because I, ideally, if I, if I want to be able to use this piece... I need to use loads of my money up because I'm covering up this 12 here. I don't know that I've even got enough 
money to do this. Oh yeah, I think I have. Because you're not losing any points, because the you know it's it's covering up a minus one space and it's worth one anyway. So filling in all these gaps lets me do that. I can't have the income because I I only just got the money after the income happened. So I think that's how we're leaving things. There's a lot of minus ones on show, but all of my pieces have been used. As Marty has got these uh, foodstuffs lying around. Now, if Marty's got minus twos showing anywhere, and it's kind of the same for me as well, if there's minus twos, you might as well use a coin because that's profiting you. Marty's just got the one. I've got these two over here. Okay, then, as you can see from the big round thing, there is nothing here after round seven. There is no bonus, no mountain strips, no replace the Vikings. Let's slide everything out of the way. We no longer need the action board, do we? I need a pen and the score sheet. Okay, here we go. And you can see some of mine and Rachel's previous escapades. Uh, so we didn't score that highly the last time we played with Norwegians. And that was the first time. Anyway, let's go. So ships that you have left on you. I've got 18 points worth of ships, which isn't bad. Marty has just got the Knar for five. Emigrations, Marty's got a nice 15 points of those. I didn't do any emigrating. Exploration boards. Well, if I don't uh, keep knocking Marty's... It was a mistake putting it up here, wasn't it? I'm going to keep knocking his stuff as I try and write it. Uh, so Marty has got 20 from exploration boards. I've got 31 from Waterford. Sheds and houses. Marty didn't do any. He didn't even do his artisan uh, shed that he could have done. I've got uh, 8, 16, 33. <laughs> Took me a while, didn't it? So quite good there, actually. Sheep and cattle. Marty didn't do uh, any animals. I've got 12 points of animals. We just include them. There isn't, you know, a new score sheet category. So I'm going to do way better than Marty, aren't I? Have Marty got occupations? He's got uh, 357 to my one. That's a little bit of a comeback. Silver, I've got two. Marty has got one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. There we go. A bit of a gain there. Final income. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to do your. You can just ignore your income in round eight and not take the pieces and just write it on here, but I don't know why that is. <laughs> I just include it because you can use the pieces uh, to mess around on your board. Uh, nobody got the English crown, so that's nothing either. Uh, so our positive subtotals. So mine is 64, 74, 82, 94, 95, 97. So not a high scoring game, really. 20, 40, 53, 60 for Marty. So to begin with, Marty's not in a great position. Uh, so negative points on your home board. I've done fairly well. One, two, three, four, five negative points on here. Uh, Marty, still quite well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then exploration boards. Well, oh, this is where... Oh, Marty's knocking his board, aren't I? He completely filled this, I think. Yeah, this should go here. I do apologise. So Marty's just got minus four on his exploration boards. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on mine. Uh, sheds and houses. Marty didn't get any to get any penalties. I've got minus one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then thing penalty. You would have got these for not uh, feeding your people. So we didn't get those. So uh, yeah, I think the writing's on the wall. I, I didn't lose many points and I got way more than Marty. Uh, so I lost 18. So what would that put me on? 79. So minus 18, 79. Marty lost 12, so puts him on 48. So yeah, quite a difference. Much more of a difference than when we actually play. Uh, but uh, there we go. I, I, was, I was trying. I said I wasn't going to explore, didn't I? And then I just did it. Uh, but yeah, Marty should, Marty should pr maybe have started emigrating the round before since he had so much money to do it with. He could have kept doing it. Uh, maybe he should have done it with his last two people rather than the... How many points did this get him? This got him two, three, four, five. 
or is emigrating, it would have cost him six. So this would have gained him 13, minus six, seven. Yeah, it would only have gained him one more point, actually. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's not go through that. This is just an example of what Feast for Odin might be like uh, if you were playing two people by yourself. And now, really, Marty is thinking for himself very clearly. Look at that expression, deep in thought. Thank you very much for watching this. If you would like to know what I think about the Norwegians expansion, you can click the link on the screen and you'll be taken there. It'll be appearing on the screen once I've stopped waffling. It's in the description now if you don't want to put up with the waffle. Uh, but wherever you end up, there's hundreds of places. There's about 350 on this channel. If you would like to check one of those out, if you would like to support the channel and keep these coming, and this was voted for by uh, my patrons at patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. You can vote on games, top tens, uh, names in the credits. Overall, though, keep all of this going which yeah we all want don't we don't we don't we thank you very much for watching though and i'll see you for the next game bye everyone <laughs> <laughs>